Hello, Diecast fans, and welcome to another brand new episode of Jim's Magnificent Miniature Motor Cars. And for this episode, I continue my unboxings of my fantastic haul from the other day. For this particular unboxing, I'll be showing a model that, in all honesty, I would never have imagined I would see coming from Matchbox. This. This is a Koenigsegg Gemera, or Gemera. I have not heard it said, so I don't know how it's pronounced. But suffice it to say, the fact alone that it is a Koenigsegg is something that has truly given me pause. Because, well, in the first place, it wasn't until recently that Mattel even started making Koenigsegg's Hot Wheels, made the Koenigsegg Jesco a few years back. And to be honest, I never imagined that Matchbox would be taking on Koenigsegg, which is basically a Swedish hypercar. Okay. I mean, I was happy enough when they did the Bugatti Devo, but this is just next level stuff. All right. The Koenigsegg Gemera or Gemera is a grand tourer. It's a curious thing. It's a hybrid. Okay. It's got, uh, it's got something like 1,700 horsepower, but it's not your normal two-seater supercar. It's a two-plus-two saloon. It's, it's basically a saloon, but with two doors. Okay, so you can see for yourselves. It's very, very interesting looking. The real car doesn't have actual side mirrors, just these weird, like, camera-looking things. These really, really skinny stocks so matchbox doesn't really bother replicating it although you can see the beginnings of the side mirrors sort of kind of but not really so let's have a look at the actual car because i gotta tell you i have mixed feelings about this casting but first let's look at the real car all right yeah so as you can see the actual Koenigsegg Gemera. One of these days I should really learn how to pronounce that freaking word. Is a curious looking thing. All right. It, it's long for one thing, like unlike most uh, mid-engine supercars, it, it, it is a long ASS car because it got four seats instead of the, it's got two rows of seats instead of the usual one. It seats four people instead of the usual two. So in that, Matchbox actually did a pretty good job replicating it. Complete tampo work. Look at that. Really nice work on the diffuser. Okay. This car is curious. It, it's not, it's not a, it's not a full-on EV. So you can see there's a little internal combustion engine there in the back. It's a two-liter inline three that together with the car's electric motors. It pumps out an aggregate of 1,700 horsepower, right? It's such an interesting car. Such a strange looking car, if I'm honest. Okay, I, I, showed you, I showed to you how it compares to the picture, but now it's compared to the other hypercar in Matchbox's collection, the Bugatti Devo. See, this is a much more straightforward hypercar. It's, you know, yeah, it's mid-engine, but it's only got two seats. And of course, the wheelbase is just that much shorter. See, I mean, the, the Bugatti Devo easily has a, you know, as a, as a wheelbase of like 104, 106 inches. This baby has a wheelbase, a real car has, an in, has a wheelbase of 118 inches. I gotta tell you, its proportions are different. I mean, it. It, it almost looks like one of those supercars that's, that's stretched out by wrappers to fit their entire entourage, you know, something like that. Such a curious, curious thing. So how do I rate it, honestly? Like I said, I find the real car to be such a visual oddity. It doesn't quite, it doesn't quite mesmerize me the way the Bugatti Devo did, but I do like quite a bit about it. I like these proportions. I like the interior. I like this choice of paint finish, I like the tampo work. Hmm. Interesting. So truly interesting. Like I said, though, it doesn't 
doesn't enchant me nearly as this did. And it's got an 8.5. So this baby, this Koenigsegg, is going to get an 8 from me. I mean, I like it, but I don't quite love it. All right. But still, still, I'm just really over the moon. That Matchbox is consistently getting opportunities like this getting castings like this. I mean, this once upon a time, this would not have happened. This would never have happened. But things have changed over at Mattel and Matchbox clearly are no longer second class citizens. And I'm really happy about that. All right, so that's it for this unboxing. I hope you folks enjoyed it. Still got one more to come for the month of March and then roll on April, okay? If you're new to the channel, I hope you'll consider giving me a like and a subscribe and hitting that notification bell.